Hey guys, so today I decided that I wanted to try and do a makeup video So I'm gonna show you guys the makeup look that I've been wearing lately Whether I'm just running errands, going to bother my sisters, or just getting some dinner This is the look I've been trying, so here we go! Alright, so before we start, I already prepped my skin with the Olay Total Effects whipped moisturizer on my face and then I have the Ole Henriksen banana bright eye cream underneath my eyes. So the first step that I do in my makeup routine is I first apply the Laura Mercier pure canvas primer. I will apply this all over my face. And then, since I'm really oily and I have larger pores, I do apply a second primer. So I apply the Pore Fessional Pore Primer by Benefit, and I really just apply this on my T-zone. Once I'm all primed and ready to go, the first thing I do are my eyebrows. You guys know I absolutely love my eyebrows and my eyebrow products. So the first product that I use is the Brow Micro Filling Pen by Benefit in medium brown. And I use this really just to fill in the inner part of my eyebrow, um, just to make it look like I have a little bit more hair there than I actually do. And then I will go in with my favorite Anastasia Brow Pomade. I use the color Ash Brown. And I just go ahead and use that to darken my arch and the tail of my eyebrow. So after I have my brow pomade done, I will use my Tarte Found Sealer and I am in the color medium golden. I will go ahead, apply some on the back of my hand and really use that to shape my eyebrows exactly how I want them. So then once I have the shape that I want, I will go ahead and use again my favorite Anastasia Brow Powder Duo and I am using the Granite Duo and I just place that right over where I placed the pomade so again I just use it to darken my eyebrow arch as well as the tail end. And then I will go ahead and set my eyebrows in place with the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel, also in medium brown. This would just help hold everything in place. And then my eyebrows are done, yay! So after eyebrows, then I will start on my face. I will go ahead and use my found sealer by Tarte again, and I will just use a damp beauty blender and blend that all over my face. Once that's done, I will go ahead and use my Fenty Match Stick in the color Mocha. And I will go ahead and hit my cheeks, my jaw, my nose, and then also apply a little bit on my temples as well. Next step is I will use my Morphe concealer in the color C155 just to brighten under my eye and a the bridge on my nose. And I like to do all of my creams at the same time and then I go and do all my powders at the same time. So once my creams are all done, I will go ahead then and get my eyelashes done. I will apply my Ardell, I really like to use the Demi Wispy Lashes and the Black Kiss Glue. 
I like to do my lashes before powder. That way, by the end of my look, it has already given my lashes and the glue time to dry. The next thing I do is I will bake really quickly. So I use the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I will just go ahead and bake a little bit under my eyes. I will hit my chin. And then whatever extra I have, I will put on my forehead. And I only like to bake for about five seconds, five to 10 seconds. I don't really like baking for too long. And then I will go ahead and brush away the excess powder. All right, the next step, I will do my bronzer. I do mix a few bronzers together. So I have been using the NARS duo in sin and casino so i will use that casino bronzer everywhere that i put the fenty contour cream so again on my cheekbones i'll hit my jawline i'll hit my forehead and then i'll put some on my nose as well and then sometimes i do like to mix in the physician's formula butter bronzer and then i will just take a bigger fluffier brush and blend all of that out so everything looks seamless and then just to give my eyes some depth and some warmth and color i'll go ahead and sweep some hula bronzer by benefit in my crease After I brush a little bit of that bronzer on my crease, I will go ahead and use my Benefit Bad Gal Mascara on my eyelashes and then I will use my eyelash curler to marry my false lashes and my real lashes together to make it look seamless. And then sometimes I'll also take my little spoolie and brush just the ends of my eyelashes. That way they still look really feathery and don't have any mascara clumps on them. And then I'll also apply some of that mascara to my bottom lashes as well. So once all that fun is done, I'll go ahead and set everything with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. For finishing touches, I will go in with my NYX Wonder Stick in the Universal Shade and I will just use the highlight end to hit the high points on my cheek to give me a really pretty highlight. And then just to get that real highlight shine, I will go ahead and top that off with the Wet n Wild After Sex Glow Highlighter. All right, and then just to wrap everything up, I will go ahead and line my lips with Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and then top it off with the Fenty Lip Luminizer in Fussy. And that is pretty much my everyday makeup routine. I hope you guys liked it and it was fun making it. <laughs> Bye!